to the session about experience number two. Uh, in this session, we, we are going to have four presentations of application of learning analytics to very different fields. First, uh, we will start with an application uh, to MOOC environments. Uh, next, uh, an application to, to a serious game. Uh, next, it's an application about visual feedback, improving based evaluation. And finally, learning analytics in the workplace. Okay, so uh, indeed, I will do the first presentation. I am Pedro Muñoz Merino from Universidad Carlos III of Madrid. And I'm going to talk about the use of learning analytics in remedial courses. Okay, so uh, remedial, remedial courses are uh, courses that are provided to students when, when they enter uh, the university to reinforce student skills like physics, maths, or chemistry. Uh, and because these are topics where the students have usually lacks of knowledge and they need to reinforce this knowledge previously to their first year degree. Uh, we have uh, applied learning analytics in, in these courses uh, on the four last year in, in our university and each course has from 100 to 300 students per course. Well, uh, we, we start applying um, uh, learning analytics in these remedial courses in year 2012 and we started applying it using a flip the classroom methodology in which first the student uh, has an online uh, phase in which they uh, can watch videos, solve exercises and so on and next uh, they have face-to-face -face classes in which uh, they, they receive traditional class lessons. Well, uh, in, in year 2012, first we combined the Khan Academy platform and the Moodle platform and uh, let me show you a bit of what we did in, in the first years. Uh, in the Khan Academy, we, we have different videos like this, uh, explaining uh, different concepts. This is an example of parametric exercise in, in the Khan Academy. This is the inclined plane in which uh, the student should enter the correct answer and can watch a video, can request for things if, if they have uh, questions. Uh, this is the, the format of the exercises in the Khan Academy, so we have to create an authoring tool that was easy to use for, for teachers because we didn't use the, uh, the exercises or, or the videos uh, that were uh, done in the Khan Academy. We created our own videos in, in the university. It was created by the teachers uh, in maths, uh, physics, chemistry and, and so on. So, we, we provide the tool so that teachers can edit collaboratively uh, the, different, the different exercises uh, to, to upload them in, in the Khan Academy platform. The Khan Academy platform had, has also gamification features. So there are energy points that the students can win. Uh, there are different budgets that the students can get for making different actions, for example, for solving correctly a set of exercises. So there are different gamification features. The Khan Academy platform presents by default the set of learning analytic features. So, for example, you can see details about the hint used uh, or the number of problems attempted. Uh, you can see here for each topic, for example, uh, in different colors, if the student didn't interact with the platform, if the student struggled with the problem, or if the student, uh, the number of students that solved them correctly. There are also pie charts like this, in which you can visualize the different proportion of uh, the different topics in, and, and, and the, the time spent in each topic for videos and, and exercises. 
So these are just some examples. And uh, we, we also create an additional learning analytic tool for the Khan Academy platform, which is named Alaska. And uh, in this tool, uh, uh, we, we calculate different indicators of the user. For example, these are some metacognitive skills like hint avoidance, video avoidance, and reflective user, hint abuser, and so on. So, for example, um, or forgetful user, or if the user follows the recommendation of the system or not. So, we extend the uh, indicators that were provided by default in the Khan Academy so that the students can know about their own behaviors, about their own learning, and teachers can see the class as a whole and, and see different indicators about about behavior. I, I will show you now some specific example. We created around 30 new indicators in the Khan Academy platform with different visualizations. These are other visualizations. For example, we we uh, uh, study the effectiveness of students interacting with videos and exercises, but not as traditionally with a linear function, but taking into account the relationship among the contents for the calculation of this effectiveness. We also analyze, for example, uh, the use of optional activities, which uh, optional activities that which are activities that are in the platform, but they are not mandatory for the students. How uh, the users uh, make make use of the different optional activities. Uh, we create also some prediction models, like to, in order to try to predict the, the learning gains. This is, for example, using regression. Uh, about uh, exercise solving habits, uh, okay, we, we have different rules like this in order to infer if there, are, there is video avoidance or if there is hint avoidance, a reflective user, and, and so on. And, and we evaluate the, the course uh, using all of these different indicators. Uh, we, we also study another example, the gamification habits. And we discover, for example, that there are some students that are very, very engaged with budgets, while there are others that they, they, it doesn't matter for them, the budget. So you can see, for example, two different students with the same number of actions but one student, all the actions are for getting all the possible budgets, while the other student didn't get any budget. And the actions, the intention is not for getting budget. So we have different indicators for that. This is one of them in order to, uh, to track these uh, usual budgets. This is uh, also for trying to detect the emotions of the students based on the interactions. And well, it's just some examples of, of the indicators. Uh, I've selected some of the publications about about this work, and they, they, they are here and also and also here. There is also a video explaining all of that. So if you want more information, this uh, you can you can see all of, of these publications and the video. Um, in here. Um, in the last year, we changed the, the platform for, for making the online phase in the remedial courses, and we changed from Khan Academy into OpenEDX. And we changed because of several reasons. Uh, first of all, because Khan Academy stopped to be open source. So we, we had the open source platform in the Khan Academy, then they, they stopped uh, the, the open source support but open EDX is, is open source. Well, this was one, one of the reasons, maybe the, the main reason. And, um, well, what, what, we, what we did in, in, in open EDX is, is a tool that is named Analyze, in which uh, we extend the support of learning analytics in open EDX by default. The, the learning analytics support in, ED, in open EDX is not so high by default. Uh, there are modules li like Insight, which is nice, but we extended uh, the functionality with, with new uh, metrics, new indicators, and, and new visualizations. 
So here uh, you have the, the, the code in GitHub, and, and there is a video about, about the tool. And uh, in, the, in, in the next year, uh, in the, now in, in one or two months, uh, we, uh, the university is going to use our tool also, uh, the University of Madrid is going to use Analyze for about 3,000 uh, students. And it's not only going to be used for remedial courses, but also for, uh, for other courses in the university that are, are then using the OpenEDX platform. Uh, let me show you some examples of, of this tool. Um, so uh, th this is the, the general interface. And, and this, uh, you can see the different exercises uh, on the course and the percentage of time that the, the average of the class or a specific student has spent on, on each exercise. This is about the student grades, uh, video that I watch, for example, uh, one of the bars is for the uh, total video time in a video, while other is total video time in different pieces of, of the video. And uh, well, there are. Uh, this is another one about uh, the analysis of the repetitions in in the in the different pieces of, of the video. Uh, this way, you can detect areas where students repeat a lot or areas where the videos are not watched and so on. <coughs> so more, there are more, more graphics. So uh, now we have changed in the remedial courses from the Khan Academy to, uh, to OpenEDX and uh, we, we are using the, this new tool that which is Analyze and uh, okay, I, I would like to thank to, to the people involved in, in, the devel in these developments, and specifically in, in Analyze. Uh, Jose Gaspar, that, which is also here, is, is now leading the development of the tool. And this is the, the team that, that have been working on, on this tool. And it's open source, and now also um, uh, several universities has contacted us and, and they are installing uh, this tool also for the OpenEDX platform. We, we have made the, the new release that is working with the last versions of, of OpenEDX and uh, we have released like uh, one month ago. Okay, so uh, that's all for, for this presentation. Uh, thank you and if, if you have any questions, Okay, so uh, thank you.